If you're searching for a job, be careful and beware. You are the latest target of cyber thieves. IT reporter Ginger Allen digs into the secret convincing new tactics that crooks are often using in an investigation that led her to France. I thought I had finally found a job. Elizabeth B. says she moved to Dallas to search for a job. I'm really frustrated. I've been looking for a job for six months. But the New Orleans native says she found a scam instead. B. posted her resume on LinkedIn, ZipRecruiter, and Indeed. I got a text from somebody claiming that they wanted to do an interview. For, they had positions like clerical and administrative. The text appeared to be from a recruiter working for an Andrew Cleland at Enigma Technologies. The recruiter told B. she was scheduling a job interview for her with Cleland on the chat room Google Hangout. It seems like it might have been normal nowadays for the way that the interviews and stuff are changing. On Google Hangout, B was hired and then told she would soon receive a check from Enigma Technologies, which she needed to deposit to purchase some work related software. At this point, B became slightly suspicious, deciding to do some homework on her new employers. Relieved, she found the company's website, including all the details she'd been told. And she found Andrew Cleland on the board. But diving deeper, she spotted this on Andrew Cleland's LinkedIn account a warning stating scammers are using his name to falsely recruit and steal personal data. This is not who B had been talking to at all. I felt really scared. I thought that I should have never gotten myself into this. In recent weeks, there have been reports of similar job scams in Florida, New York, and Wisconsin. The Federal Trade Commission just shut down a company accusing it of offering bogus job placements. And the BBB reports employment moved to the number one riskiest scam in 2018. The median loss, more than $1,200 per victim, ripped off after providing personal information, giving money to buy equipment, getting overpaid with a fake check, and then asked to wire back the difference. And the resume review trick. Look at these emails sent to us by viewers. Recruiters tell job seekers they need to pay a small fee to improve their resumes. Both businesses appear to be in New York, but we could not find the offices nor get anyone on the phone. The number you dialed is not in service. We then tried tracking down the alleged founder, but watch where we found him. Vernon Smith is really. Alan Austin, an investigative journalist in France. Mr. Austin, did you have any idea that someone was using your image? No, I had no idea at all. It came as quite a shock to uh, discover this site. Austin confirmed that is his photo on not one, but at least two different sites with at least two different names. My main reaction was just concern for the victims who are going to be sucked in by this. They are highly professional sites. They will find many, many people prepared to pay whatever fees they are asking. So just to recap, this is just how elaborate these scams are. We found these fake websites and recruiters using real photos, real people, even real companies. And then look at this. On real business profile sites, we found them listing they're very fake executive names. So this is the legitimate Zoom info site. If you didn't know better, you would think Jeff Walker appears as the very real senior executive recruiter at FS Recruiting. But Doug, this is the most bizarre finding. Been doing this 20 years, know you have as well. Yeah. I want to know if you've ever seen this. This is actually a fake press release put out by the bogus recruiters, get this, shedding light, as it says here, on the very scams we're talking about. Fake, fake press release. We, we've arrived at the point where you can't believe anything. I mean, yeah, We've seen it all, haven't we? Talk to me about uh, the fake recruiters. How do, they, how do they even know that you, Ginger Allen, are looking for a job? How do they figure that out? So these job seekers will typically post on LinkedIn, ZipRecruiter, Indeed, some of these different sites, so they know to go scour these and look for them. And they just see names. They do. People posting. We've reached out to all of those sites, and they have sent us comments. We've also put some red flags about this on our website, because think about it. We typically tell people to do their homework. If you did your homework on these, they'd look yeah. real. Yeah. Yeah, sure would. Confusing for a lot of people. Thank you for shedding yeah. the light. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. A uh, website for that uh, info Ginger was talking about, cbsdfw.com. She and the I-Team always available to look into your tips or answer your questions. You can email them, iteam at ktvt.com.